beautiful Capricorns, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for February 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, so this is the Singles Love Reading for February 2022. I will be doing a Twin Flame reading for your sign in the next couple of days if you feel like you're in a Twin Flame connection. If you're not looking for a love reading, I already have done the monthly for you, but I will be doing a career reading for your sign in the next couple of days also. So let's get straight to it. We have the moon. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? loving this energy. Um, now I'm just going to get your overall energy before I read and then afterwards I'll do a Celtic cross to see who is coming towards you and uh, what else we can uh, gather from there. Thank you so much Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Okay, uh, they want me to go again so I will. Thank you so much Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please? Okay, we have family room. We've got poverty and we've got toil and labor. Now, poverty doesn't mean that you're going to lose finances, just so you're aware. When it comes, oh, they want me to go again one more. <laughs> um, when it comes to um, love, it can mean that there is a loss or you feel uh, that you've lost out on something. Perhaps you feel like love has not visited your door. Like, I mean, even the candle, they're just saying, look at the candle, look at the candle. So as I'm talking about it, the candle is starting to really dim. So perhaps it's about you losing hope when it comes to finding love. But your overall energy suggests that there is love on its way. So I wouldn't give up hope there. Um, let's go and read the energy um, and let's see what's coming towards you. So we've got the moon card, which is about uncertainty. It's also about um, fears and perhaps, um, you know, it can even be about harboring secret feelings. Um, and we've got... Uh, it's clarified there by the house. So I feel like you're focusing on getting your house in order, focusing on your career goals, building security. I mean, look at that. That's a gated property and also there's lots of lights on there. So I feel like you have really awakened on your path. You know what you want and what you don't want. I mean, the candle's literally gone out. So um, I'm going to go and um, sort of light that candle. It's taken me three times to light this particular candle. I'm not really sure why, but I just get this energy that some of you perhaps have a feeling of lost hope uh, when it comes to uh, love, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't anyone coming. Your overall energy suggests that there is a relationship coming in the near future, but we're just going to go and light the candle because I need to work with the light only, okay? I cannot work without the light, so let us see. Um, what is happening here? Now, there actually is quite a large flame. I mean, it's getting bigger and bigger, but it refuses to light. I'm going to have to maybe go and get another candle for you. Okay, yeah, it literally refuses to light. Um, let's go one, let's try something else. Uh, please fast forward this part. Um, I always like to be really sort of honest and open in the reading. So even when things, um, don't go the way that, uh, they should normally, I like to keep it in so that you can see that actually, um, nothing is fabricated in my readings. It's all sort of, um, open and transparent. So let's see if that does anything. Uh, now, this could be that there is a buildup of emotions because there was a real buildup of wax there, um, which is, it could be past situation. I mean, it's lighting now, yeah. So I've released, um, I've released um, some of the wax there. So it's maybe it's about processing because the moon energy is about 
uh, processing emotions that have been very, very difficult. Um, it is about, um, you know, this is about dark night of the soul energy, the moon energy. So I feel like you may have been through a very difficult time, felt very unsure or uncertain when it comes to your love relationships. And you may be a bit of a homebody or you may feel a little bit stuck. Now, I would say, Remember, whilst it's wonderful to build a world of security around you and focus on your career goals, uh, if you find that you are a homebody, um, you know, perhaps there is an indication here that you need to uh, open yourself up towards um, getting out there a little bit more. I mean, that's easier said than done. I know we're going through a major pandemic, for example. We're going through a lot of difficult periods uh, in humanity, let alone uh, on a personal level. Uh, but I do feel like there is um, a relationship that is um, secure and loving and honest and open and loyal on its way for you. Uh, but I'm just getting, I mean, even with the candle, that's unusual. Okay, that's unusual. Uh, I just get this energy of a, a little bit of lost hope. Now, I have to I have to call it because we've got number 32 here. When you reduce it, three plus two is five, which is the number of obstacles or challenges. So you may have found that love has been um, very challenging and it has um, sort of made you feel a little bit like vulnerable in some way. Now Capricorn, um, you know, you are loving, you're caring, you're open, you give a lot of yourself when you truly fall in love and uh, decide that this is a person that you would want to settle down with. We've got number 20 here. It is the judgment card energy. So there may be someone, uh, even though this is a singles reading, I mean, I will clarify. Um, I will try and make this about a singles reading and not a return energy. But the number 20 is the judgment card energy. So there may be someone that you're thinking about or sort of self-evaluating whether you want this person to remain in your life. So maybe you've just gone through a separation and that's why there's a bit of lost hope there. Um, or maybe you have... Um, there was a relationship that you thought was quite secure in the past and it has not gone your way. So I feel like you may be harboring secret sort of thoughts about that person. You may be trying to remove their energy from your sphere. You may not want to be with that person anymore, but they're showing up in your energetic sphere as being someone who had influence on the way that you approach love going forward. So if that relationship didn't go the way you'd hoped and there was uh, you know, some uh, negative things that popped out in that relationship, they may still be energetically attached to you and they influence the way that you open up to love so it may be that you're a little bit guarded especially since we've got that guarded uh, that gated property right there um, because you're an earth element and you typically uh, deep down seek security it doesn't mean that you seek security in relationships but it can mean that you seek to build solid foundations in all that you do um, because of the earth element there we got the high priestess and we've got the ten of wands so they are giving me with the high priestess you may feel like there's some sort of bond with somebody else okay um, I mean they're actually giving me uh, the two, I mean, these two initials, B and J, of course, always um, pop up in this card. Um, if you don't know the history of the card, uh, check it out online. It's really fascinating. But this energy is, um, it's about secrets, mystery, uh, mystery, uh, that sort of energy, subconscious wisdom. I feel like you're trying to connect um, to your higher self, to sort of reconcile a past situation. Because we got the Ten of Wands here, which is a baggage energy. It is exhausting. So either there's someone here that you disconnect from, reconnect with. Uh, this person, um, you know, you've got a lot of history with this person or this situation. It doesn't have to be a person. If you've not had a relationship that actually um, affected you in that way, it can be um, the foundation um, that you had when you were growing up and your perception of what it meant to love. So for example, if you had parents or guardians who divorced or you, uh, you know, had, um, you know, your foundation of love was not a happy one. You may be looking at uh, processing some of those emotions in order to release patterns. Ancestral wounding is nothing to do with you, but it is passed on from generation to generation. Fears, insecurities. So you may be looking at that. But they're indicating here that uh, you may feel um, that you're harboring, um, you know, some sort of baggage in some way connected to a past situation that you're trying to offload at the moment or you're trying to work through it trying to pick through it it doesn't mean that there's no new love coming on in there absolutely is but you may be contemplating wanting to return to somebody okay so uh, because it's number 20 and that's the judgment card energy the judgment card energy is about renewal rebirth it's a second chance energy so there may be someone who wants a second chance with you 
and you're weighing up whether you can do this all over again or whether it's just too exhausting that you need to break free and make for a new life for yourself and sort of leave all that in the past because it may feel like it's hindering you from being truly happy. That doesn't mean you can't be happy with that person. It means there is a lot of baggage to unpick. But this is a singles love reading, so I will continue in that vein. Um, now we have the resistance energy. So this is the uh, four-leaf clover. So this is about luck. Your luck is about to change, but you may have felt that you are, uh, you, you've been stuck in a rut, or you may have felt like luck has not been on your side when it comes to love, or things in general recently. You may have felt like you're taking two steps forward in life and four steps back. But that's all about to change. Again, number two is the high priestess. So again, there is this energy of, um, you know, the subconsciousness, working out what it is that you want, whether you want to revisit a past situation, whether it's you want to be with that person in the past, or whether you just want to revisit uh, some of the past in order to learn the lesson, take the lesson with you, but leave the past behind. You get to decide where we all have free will, but there may be some feelings here of mistrust. Okay, um, and we've got, uh, but your luck is changing, basically. I feel like out of the blue energy, there's going to be a new person that enters the equation for you in terms of love. Now we've got number six, it says mature woman. Now this is a beautiful deck, the Kipper deck uh, there by Marchetti. Uh, I do not assign gender to my uh, cards, I read energy. So this card for me is about maturity, male or female, uh, not a gender specific reading. We all have feminine and masculine energy at any given time in our life. Masculine energy, especially in Tarot, is all about action. Feminine energy is all about uh, reci reciprocity, or reciprocal energy to receive, okay? So um, we've got this energy of maturity and you are maturing. You may even have some sort of uh, doubts about your age. You may feel like luck is not on your side or that you're getting older. So therefore you're feeling like time is running out for you to find love. That is not the case. You can find love at 93, 102. You can find love at any age when you believe and know that that is what you want, okay? Um, I know it's difficult, it's so uh, you know hard to find your counterpart, but there is somebody out there for everybody, okay? Um, now, it's number six, which is the lover's card. So this is about balance, it's about harmony. It's about recalibrating your feelings about yourself and the, the fact that you are now older and you want certain things that you did not want when you were younger, okay? So you may be looking at security a little bit more than usual. Uh, you may be focusing on um, what it is you truly want in a relationship. And you know, because you are maturer now, you know what you want and what you don't want. You're, if you're looking for love, you're not starting from the very beginning. You're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience, which is very important because experience says people can't come towards you with um, shoddy behavior. They can't get under your uh, sort of healthy boundary that you've built because you know what you want now. So this is an energy of building a solid foundation within yourself. Um, it's about being, uh, you know, emotionally secure within yourself, loving yourself fully and knowing that you deserve the best. That's what maturity is supposed to bring. OK, but I feel like your love and your luck is sort of merging. It is changing the outcome position is number 24, love. So this is what is available to you. There is love on its way for you. This is a light-hearted energy, okay? So there is someone who matches your vibration uh, sort of coming towards you. Um, this is something that's going to be a little bit more playful, a little bit more um, enjoyable. So if you've been in a situation in the past where the energy has been quite heavy, especially if you've had a couple of uh, sort of cycles with a person that you truly love and they truly love you, but it's very difficult to get past some issues within a relationship. Um, this one feels a little bit more lighter, like there's no baggage releasing energy. Um, and again, when you reduce it, two plus four is six. That is the number of the lovers. So the lovers card is all about um, partnership about soulmates, two people coming together, choosing each other to take the journey of life together. And I feel like you're going to uh, make that decision. Most important though, you're getting two sixes, which really indicates that there is a choice. So this means you could be sort of wondering whether you uh, revisit a situation with somebody from the past, or you've been thinking a lot about them recently. That could just be because uh, Venus has been in retrograde for uh, you know a time where now uh, Venus is now direct, but you may have felt a little bit more nostalgic than usual. And if you've been thinking about them, my beautiful Capricorn, they've been thinking about you, okay? 
but now Venus and Mercury are uh, direct. So that means there's more opportunity to expand your opportunities when it comes to love. What is crossing you? We've got expectation. Okay, so I do feel like even though you um, have lost a bit of hope or maybe you've had a real test of faith when it comes to finding love, it's left you confused and sometimes a little bit negative feeling, well, how is it everybody else is making it work and I'm not? Everyone's got a different path, okay? So whilst you've got this energy of expectation, it's number 10. And uh, when you reduce it, two plus eight is 10. Now 10 is the Wheel of Fortune energy. And because you have the Norman deck, a luck card, that does mean that fate will be intervening, but it may come at a cost where you leave the past fully behind. That person that maybe you've got baggage with or you feel attached to in some way, it maybe it's, it's time to let that go or it can mean that you want to turn that around. So I'm just gonna pull a card on that in a moment. We've got the family room. So we got number 20 and 20, 21, okay? So this is about should I stay or should I go um, in a situation? But the family room is also about secrets, okay? It can be about secrets. Uh, it's also the, the world card number 21, which means an end of a cycle into a new era when it comes to love. So I feel like you are going to complete this cycle and be satisfied that you are fulfilled in some way. Um, now, I mean, you gotta even look at the cards to see. Uh, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading, but there's two photos there, there's two paintings. So I do feel like you are going to have a choice when it comes to love. Um, and I, I, you know, please don't shoot the messenger when I say this. I just got this energy that there is somebody, maybe there's somebody here that you've already told your family about, or because I feel like your family are aware of this person from the past. Um, I just get a little bit of energy, a little bit of passion or desire, like a what if uh, coming through there. Uh, but I will, um, I mean, we've got a lot of, it's interesting. We've got another 37. So 37 is the 11 uh, path and we've got a 38. I mean, we got a lot of cards that are right next to each other. This is the poverty card. So this is about feeling a little bit left out in the cold, a little bit hard done by. It doesn't mean that you're going to lose anything financially. This is about love. But I feel like um, there's an energy here of perhaps you felt like you met the person you wanted to settle down with. And I, I mean, they're showing me a rat here, but I don't feel like it's a real... I don't feel like it's a, a negative energy. What I feel is that partner with the uh, cat energy i feel like there's something about independence here maybe a fight for independence or two very very strong-willed people um is what i'm getting but i feel with this card you may have felt a bit left out in the cold and uh, as i said number 37 uh, did i say it was 11 i, I do apologize uh, they just said 10 10 10 10 10 at me like lots so uh it's number 10 i hope i didn't say it's 11. Uh, anyway, it's number 10. Um, this one's number 11. Um, I feel like something is coming to an end. Okay. Uh, I also feel like it's your, your bad luck or your run of bad luck in love. Uh, you're coming into a new cycle. Uh, we got toil and labor. So again, that really connects to the fact that you're focusing on your career goals, uh, focusing on your career path, making money. Um, and you recognize that Relationships are hard work. And some of you may be like, I don't know, it's almost like life in general is pretty hard to deal with, uh, trying to you know, navigate a major pandemic, pay all your bills, make sure you're doing life in general and getting everything all sorted. So sometimes there may be an energy coming through on this card where you're like, you know what? It's just too much to even think about getting into a relationship. So even though deep down you may want to be with somebody in a relationship, I feel like you've experienced a difficult path in love. So there's part of you that's like, not even sure if it's worth it, okay? That's why that candle it kind of went out. Uh, I feel like you're going to change your mindset um, in a really positive, organic way. Uh, we've also got imprisonment. So you may feel a little bit stuck. I mean, some of you, and this is not going to resonate for everyone, perhaps a person that you deeply loved may be incarcerated. Th that's not going to uh, connect to everybody, of course. But I'm just getting this energy of you feeling a little bit stuck in your love life. Uh, but actually, because we've got two 11s back to back here, when you reduce it, 38 
uh, 3 plus 8 is 11, and then you've got uh, number 29, both 11. That means uh, you're on the right path to meeting a soulmate. Okay, 11 and 11 is a soulmate uh, number. Um, but they always say it's darkest before dawn. So just when you feel you're completely stuck in a rut and you're like, I don't even know what to do about it. Um, and it's almost like as soon as you feel like taking your foot off the pedal and saying, you know what, I'm not going to even search for love anymore. That's when love comes on in. They always say a watch pot never boils. So whilst you're busy doing life, all of a sudden you're going to be put in the path to meet somebody new. But let's see who is coming towards you. I just needed to understand the energy before I move forward. Okay. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn. What do they need to know? Now, just to let you know, um, this deck is the Storm and Tarot. It's by David DeAngelis. I'm only reading the uprights in this deck, okay? Um, apart from the challenge positions. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Oh, yeah, this, there is new passion coming your way. I mean, there's definitely somebody new coming here, but there, it's really interesting because um, we've got not only have we got the Ace of Wands in that position, which means there is still some sort of rejection um, energy in your energetic field, we've got a Five of Cups below you, which is about looking at loss, okay? So um, we've got the Empress in the past. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. So I'm definitely picking up on someone here who's feeling like they're getting a bit older, okay? Um, again, I would say... Um, Age really is not a factor when it comes to love. Society teaches us it is, unfortunately, but who cares what society, what society says? The heart wants what the heart wants, and the heart tends to attract what it truly wants, okay? So um, we've got the moon again showing up in your reading, so uh, you may feel very uncertain. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Five of Pentacles. So there's the challenge energy again. They want two more cards in this position, so I'm going to give it. We've got another five. That's another. See, this is a challenge. You're feeling. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands here as well. Okay. And so I just need to know if they need to take another one. They said cross it one more. Cross it one more. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. They don't normally talk to me like that, so they cross it one more is. Thank you so much. The devil card. Okay, Capricorn, that is your card. So don't be worried about the devil card. Be like, OMG, uh, the devil has shown up. Uh, that can mean a blockage, okay? Um, so let us see what that is. Or it could mean attachment to somebody else at this time. So um, let me have a look and see what's going on there. The heart of the matter for you is the sacred clown. Okay, now the sacred clown is actually the full card in this particular deck. So this is about you wanting a new start. You want a fresh new start. Plus, I feel like you're, you're willing to take a leap of faith. You're willing to find that sort of hope. Because I feel, I mean, if you have a look at this particular card, it's a really interesting card because on either side, it's like there's traps. So you may feel you don't want to be, how can I put that? You may have felt that a previous relationship in some way kept you rooted to the spot or made you feel not trapped, but I just feel there's a, an energy here of seeking independence. Now you can be independent within a relationship, of course, but as you can see, it's almost like either side of this full card, uh, this full figure here, um, there is a trap that's got nothing in it and a trap that's got a diamond in it. Okay. So it's almost like, um, you know, the difference between, of course, um, settling down and committing yourself to a long-term commitment that if you're going to almost I don't want to put it like the way that they're giving it to me. They're giving me, if you want to give up your freedom, you'd go for the diamond option, right? Okay. Um, n people need to realize that once you get into a re relationship, you're not giving up your freedom. You're actually surrendering to uh, a, a relationship and you make compromises in order to make things work because each person in that relationship has had a very difficult journey and a different journey to get to this point of, um, partnership. So I do feel like you are looking at your options. Um, you are opening yourself up in a way to a new adventure. Um, I feel like you are trying to move past the past, as it were. And it's almost like it has taught you to go for the best of the best. Okay. So it may have been a long journey. You, you know, 
you may have met other people that you're like, meh, there's a bit of chemistry there, but this person's not long-term. This is not going to be for me long-term. So I feel like you know the difference. Um, what is crossing you is the ace, ace of wands. So there has in the past been some sort of either rejection or some sort of brutal end to a relationship that left a bit of a bitter taste in your mouth and you've been trying to process it doesn't mean that you want to be with that person anymore it just means that somehow it's still in your energetic sphere because you got the moon card twice here um, in your reading that's about processing emotions letting go of fears or illusions um, that a past situation may have brought upon us now I only talk about this so that it helps people move forward in order to open up fully to a love relationship um, because not everybody is going to treat you the same way my beautiful Capricorn and if someone has rejected you in some way or bruised your confidence in some way um, or in some way try to um, make you feel lesser than yourself remember that is them projecting their feelings upon you because we all start with a cup of love and that cup of love is for ourselves first we put love in there care um you know um respect hopefully we put all of those things in the cup but sometimes some of us humans we're very complex sometimes and a lot of the time we all come with a bit of insecurity or uh, sometimes a bit of low self-worth or self-loathing or codependency and if that's in that cup and we give it to another person to drink we're projecting our feelings of how we feel upon ourselves to that person and then we tend to meet people who match the same vibrations as us so then we're drinking from their cup also so we are projecting our feelings of how we feel onto them and vice versa so if this person rejected you in some way this person is avoidant of their feelings this person is chaotic um, this person has a lack of accountability uh, I just get an energy this person tends to make excuses sometimes as well for their actions uh, that's what's coming in I'm only mentioning it because going forward I feel like you're letting that go and you don't need those feelings in your life anymore so you can set down the baggage now what is coming towards you that ace of wands means there's new chemistry aces tend to bring new so you may feel that motivation to find love again if you've lost hope or you felt like a little bit jaded when it comes to love and you thought you what's the point I feel in February you're going to get a boost of energy that gets your mojo back in swing where you're like you know what I am all that and a packet of fries I am gonna get myself out there why not you know so I feel like you are going to take the opportunity to mingle because we've got a three of pentacles here which means group setting so you will be in some sort of um uh, in a position where you meet somebody that you can build something solid with them okay so the ace of wands literally means like new passion so you'll have chemistry with somebody in the near future um well because this is a february reading i feel like you may even meet someone that actually sparks your attention okay so it's kind of like a little bit of like a huh that person's quite interesting what is below you though is the five of cups so there is still some sort of um process deep within you a sadness where you're having to let something go maybe it's even a part of your life go because especially since we've got the empress in the past position now the empress is like the equivalent of that mature woman card okay again male or female not a gender specific reading but it's like maturing so if you feel like you're maturing and you feel like um, as we get older we start to feel like our good days are behind us that is not the case at all so there may be part of you that is mourning a part of your life where you felt you were really happy and you may be longing to come back to that sort of feeling again it will come back okay but we must not dwell in the past this is a card to remind you to let go of any emotions that we're holding on to I mean you know I put a I put a um, a match there in that candle just to push it down so that all that excess wax liquid could just stream to the bottom and then it lit again so it's almost like purging so I feel like the same is with your uh, reading here with that five of cups the five of cups figure tends to look at the, the three cups that are spilt over they do not yet see the two cups that are to come that are fulfilled now the two of cups of course is a soulmate relationship you know um, so I do feel like you're not even aware yet that you're about to meet someone that is very very emotionally fulfilling this is a soulmate partnership that is coming on in but you will have the spark a little frisson with somebody uh, in the near future but what are you leaving in the past the Empress card 
So you may feel like, you know, you're very, uh, some of you, for example, uh, you know, if you wanted to have children, you may feel like that opportunity has now left you. Or if you wanted to settle down and have a family, you may feel um, that you have limited resources to do that. Um, some of you may feel like you, you were in your prime in the past. That's not the case. You're still in your prime. The time is now. Oh yeah, they're right. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. Um, I'm scrying at the same time as uh, doing your reading. And they went, the time is now, your t-shirt. And they're right. The t uh, well, actually my, my t-shirt says now or never. Now or never. The time is now, your t-shirt. Maybe someone out there is reading, a, uh, sorry, who's listening to the reading actually is wearing a t-shirt saying um, the time is now. So if that's you, there's definitely something in this message for you because my t-shirt actually says now or never. Okay, so I thought it was what they said, but it's not. Um, now the Empress card indicates that you are focusing on um, finding a divine counterpart and you may have not found someone that you wanted to truly settle down with just yet. Also, I mean, some of you may already have children. You may have someone with uh, children with someone in the past. The, the Empress tends to talk about um, planting seeds. You've already sown seeds in another area that you were hoping would grow. So this could also be connected to someone you thought was a potential um, soulmate to settle down with. And you may feel still energetically attached to this person because you gave them your whole world. You gave them your heart. You gave them a promise to be um, walking by their side throughout this journey of life. And if you feel rejected in some way, that rejection, it takes a long time to process. It can take months, years, decades you know depending on the attachment that you had with that person so just be mindful of that um now i'm going to pull a quick card because i didn't pull a card on those the, the the person in the past um can you show me um the house card 20 you want that one yeah and eight of swords so eight of swords in the upright is about mentally feeling a little bit stuck uh, it tends to mean this card, a self-imposed restriction in trying to get clarity. Um, you're trying to release yourself from denial and see things as they truly are. So if there is a relationship that, uh, you know, you feel still attached to in some way, I feel like you're trying to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, is this really going somewhere? And uh, you got the strength card there as well. So uh, we got the queen of pentacles. You offered a lot to this person. This person may have also had earth in their chart or uh, they may have had Leo in their chart as well. But I feel like this person may be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy uh, you thought you wanted to settle down with this person okay uh, they're showing me uh, with the queen of pentacles that is a settling down energy the hierophant oh yeah oh gosh okay so they are showing me um the queen of pentacles which is someone who was ready to settle down okay someone who was ready to build a home nest we've also got the hierophant now either you were married to this person or you wanted to marry this person the hierophant is a higher level of commitment I mean, it may be that you moved in with this person or you gave a piece of yourself to this person that um, you don't normally give to other people. You know, the, you we all give access to different parts of ourselves to other people uh, in different moments. So, for example, at work, there's, you know, there's a lot of off limits as to who we truly are. We don't go telling all our secrets to people that we work with. Um, so I feel like you gave access um, deeper access to who you are and your soul to this person either that you currently separated from or um, that you're still in contact with or thinking about in some way um, and we got the two of cups so divine union soulmate energy so I really feel as well that um, if you've fully detached yourself from this person I do feel like that you've had to rebuild and regain your confidence because the Empress card is about rebuilding confidence as well. Knowing that you deserve better, setting those healthy boundaries, that strong self-esteem. The Queen of Pentacles is also, with the strengths as well, is about having the courage to then focus on a goal, a dream, or your plans in order to move forward. Uh, being practical, saying, okay, well, I'm not going to dwell in that. I'm not going to wallow in that. I've got to focus on me. And as a result, I do feel like there is a high level commitment coming on in here for you that will lead to um, marriage or settling down. So, I mean, if you're asking, is there love available to you? The answer is yes. I'm just going to pull a quick card on the person from the past. Can you show me the person from the past? Are they still in the, this person's energetic sphere that I'm picking up on? 
four of wands in the reverse says there is separation. Okay, so you're either currently in separation from this person or you've argued in some way. There's definitely a distance between you and this person. Uh, what does the person in the past feel about my beautiful Capricorn? Um, I'm just doing this and then we'll move forward to new because we've got Prince of Wands here, which is coming out of a comfort zone. The, the King of Swords in the reverse and we've got the uh, nine of cups in the reverse this person tries not to think about you but I feel like they secretly have feelings for you um, but they're very slow um, this person has unrealistic expectations and when I say slow I mean they slow to offer any sort of commitment here um, the high priestess it's almost like they give up too easily this person um, the high priestess in the reverse and the nine of cups in the reverse this person is repressing their feelings okay um, now, do you want to wait for someone like that forever? I, that's your call, of course. But, you know, if someone's not taking any action, we've got a King of Swords in the reverse. So this person may have been um, unkind to you in some way. You definitely don't trust this person. You know that they love you, of, of course, because we got a Nine of Cups there. Uh, so at one point, this person was everything you wish for. Uh, I feel this person also, um, they're repressing their feelings and they're trying not to think about you. They're certainly not making any actions towards you and they may have been unkind in order to push you further away uh, so I would just be mindful of that energy okay um, now getting back to the reading we've got above you the three of Pentacles now some of you may be focusing on your goals your dreams this is about building a solid foundation now you may have gone through a very delicate and difficult time my beautiful Capricorn but I feel like you are rebuilding bigger and better some of you may be in like for example a partnership in business and leveling up on your money or you may be uh, you're uh, you're maybe an entrepreneur I feel like you'll be focusing financially on um, in your present moment uh, also the three of Pentacles is about teamwork people coming together. Uh, it can mean a collaboration uh, of some sort. So for example, you may put yourself into a situation where you're collaborating with others, working with others towards a common goal. And I feel, um, because they're actually showing me like a maze here and there's a spider on it, but I feel like it's, the way that they're giving it to me, now spiders, of course, um, spiders are actually good luck. OK, uh, spiders are beautiful creatures. They always symbolize good luck. And um, they uh, when you think about dream catchers, they're actually made in the style of a spider's web to catch um, the good luck, the dreams. And I feel like spiders are going to be very, very relevant to you um, in the month of February. Images, either you're going to meet someone who's got a tattoo with a spider on it, or uh, it doesn't mean that that's the person you fall in love with, uh, but it can have some sort of significant. They're really highlighting the word golden to me, golden. And this is a golden spider, of course, but they're giving me the word golden. So either you're gonna see a golden spider in February, it is a signifier that there is change in your love relationships. I mean, you may literally go out on a date in February and you go to, um, a restaurant that's called, um, I don't know, the Golden Web or something like that. And they've got a, a poster of a golden spider or um, you see a golden spider on a billboard or there's like a cartoon or something like that. Golden spider is important in some way. Now, you know when it's like the, the way that they're giving it to me is like spiders bite. Uh, so it's like you're going to be bitten and smitten with, uh, you know, the, the love bug sort of thing. That's what they're giving me. It's such a, the way that they're talking is, now this may be someone that you know in spirit, the way they're talking is, I'm giving you exactly what they're giving me. So either they're trying to connect to a conversation that you've had with somebody, or this is the way that they would talk. Uh, I'm getting, um, you're going to be bitten, smitten by the love bug, uh, bitten by the bug, love bug, smitten, bitten it's kind of like they're trying to rhyme all these words together uh, so please take it as it resonates I do feel like you're going to come into a group situation where you meet somebody that you are going to have a chemistry with immediately okay so uh, moving on um, we do have the prince of wands now the prince of wands is actually the uh, page 
of wands. So this is about coming out of your comfort zone, okay? Uh, it means doing something, maybe venturing forward out of the norm. Now it can also be the beginning of a project, especially since you've got an ace of wands here. So there may be some sort of creative collaboration or some sort of a new project or something exciting and new in your world happening in February that puts you in the path to meet this person. They just keep showing me two um, sets of eyes locking. You know, just noticing across a crowded room kind of thing. So uh, that's what they're showing me right now. Um, there's something about golden here because they're showing me golden spider and then golden egg. Okay, there's something golden. It may even be the name of a place or maybe the name of a, an event or something like that. Maybe everything's golden. They, now they're just giving me gold. They're, the first word they gave me was golden and now they're like gold. So everything just seems to be all about gold in February for you, okay? Um, maybe that's because it's connected in some way to what you do for a living, um, or it can mean it is the name of a place. So look out for that in February. But the, pa uh, the Page of Wands or the Prince of Wands indicates you will be talking to somebody new, someone who's very adventurous, someone who's quite passionate, someone's got strong emotion. This person may be a little bit younger than you, Especially since uh, you are, um, there's an indication here of someone thinking about their age, okay? Age is just a number that we clock up. I mean, time and numbers and all those things, they're all human constructs. We're all just bright beings walking through life. None of us come with a manual. It doesn't matter how old or young a person is. If they vibe at the same frequency and they match and there is love, then there is nothing else that matters, okay? So I do feel with this um, Prince of Wands here that you're going to um, you know, be talking to someone new because pages are all about news. So um, with this card, I feel like you are finding your purpose or you're doing something that is connected to your soul purpose. And on that path, you meet this new person. OK, um, it's very exciting. It's a very thrilling, passionate relationship. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person that you meet, this new person. OK, now advice to yourself in this moment. We've got the Princess of Pentacles. That is the Knight of Pentacles. So you're focusing on your goals and your dreams. You're hardworking. You're proceeding with integrity. You're trying to lead with your head held high. So if you have recently gone through a separation, I, I really feel like you're not being a dirty person. But by that, I mean, you're not doing the dirty on another person. You're leading with integrity. I feel like you are trying to take the higher moral ground, okay? But I feel like you're, um, this energy, um, I feel like you're quite prudent or careful when it comes to love. You're very thoughtful, okay? And you're someone who's very dedicated and you don't give your heart away easily because you know the depths that you go to when you merge with another person. And also, I feel like you have been hurt before in the past. So there is a cautious energy here. You're slow to offer your heart, okay? So I feel like you will take it easy when you meet this new person. But this new person is very passionate, very excitable kind of energy. And I feel like you will get swept away in their energy too, um, in a really exciting way, not in a feeling swamped and overwhelmed kind of way. Now, as you can see, this um, figure here, she's expectant. So I feel there is an expectant energy. I mean, some of you may also be pregnant at this time, um, or there could be, uh, you know, when you meet this new person, uh, I feel, you know, there could be a surprise if you don't take precautions, for example. Um, but the Princess of Pentacles, I feel like you're looking for a solid commitment in love. You're willing to play the long game and find someone who is dedicated and determined to settle down and be on the same page as you. When you get this card, it is a knowing that your efforts will pay off, okay? Um, that it's almost like you may have waited a long time, but you finally met the right person. OK, you didn't waste your time in other areas. Uh, also, I feel like you're committing a, a lot of um, attention to your goals, your dreams, financially bossing up in your world. Now, the external circumstances is the moon card. So the moon card is about processing feelings, emotions, fears um, and trying to gain some sort of clarity 
You may have been very frustrated when it comes to love and felt very unhappy at the options that have come your way. But I feel like you're using your intuition when you meet this new person. You're going through a metamorphosis and that's why I feel like you're becoming aware of your shadow self and you're looking at the lessons that are to be learnt within. This can be a difficult time for you, okay? Or you may have gone through a very difficult time, but you're purging negativity and you're trying to tap into your inner awareness for some of the answers that you seek. So I'm just going to pull a quick card on that for you, just to clarify. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Garden Angels, because this card can be about uncertainty. And we've got the Four of Swords. It's in the reverse. I mean, in the Four of Swords in the reverse, um, you know, Four of Swords is a solitary energy. And it means you may be recovering from something because it's one up from the Three of Swords, which is about separation or heartbreak or loss. So they're indicating that you're coming to perhaps an end of some sort of... Um, uh, healing uh, because when you get it in the reverse it's like if you felt like you're in a solitary energy and you took some time out to really focus on your own needs get ready for action because things are about to change the four of swords in the reverse is you know um coming out of that zone of um, being homebody, for example. Um, it's about getting out there the four of swords is there is action coming towards you we got the Page of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you're not going to be having to go after this love. Thank you so much for it, guys. I feel like love finds you, actually, uh, in a group setting. we got the Three of Swords here, so they are indicating that you're still processing, and that's, yeah. Because of a heartbreak, there's a little bit of guarded energy, but there will be celebration. I mean, you're getting the same cards, so... Um, to clarify that moon energy so we've already done the four of cups so the sorry the four of swords the page of cups in the reverse is some sort of immature breakup okay uh, someone that you may have given all of your love to offered everything that you had to offer and it's almost like they threw it back in your face okay so I feel like there is something here that is still being processed because I'm clarifying the moon energy. I mean, we've got a four of wands here, which can talk about wanting to reunite with that person. It can also talk about someone wanting to reunite with you. So if you do want to reunite with a person, of course, we all have free will. There is a potential to meet with a new person, with, sorry, with that uh, person from the past. And you both have to unpick the baggage and it'll be hard work. You've got the toil and labor card. So it is possible, but I feel... Um, it is doable, but I mean, you're both going to be very, very guarded because of what has gone before, okay? Because we got the Three of Swords there, it's in the upright, so I feel like it could still be very raw. And we got the Seven of Wands there, which is a guarded energy. You're protecting yourself against heartbreak. So if you've been in solitary energy for a long time, my beautiful Capricorn, but in the past you've been... Um, you've had a difficult uh, road when it comes to love, you may still be guarding yourself against heartbreak. And that will never lead us to coming out of a comfort zone. I mean, we can protect ourselves, which is wonderful, of course, but then we can overprotect ourselves, which means we never let anyone truly in. So I would say just be mindful of that. Um, I feel like you're letting go. The full card suggests that there is um, you are trying to find that faith and you're opening yourself up to a new start. But there's just something about this card that says, maybe I should reunite with another with a person from the past, okay? I mean, the, this is the halfway to marriage card as well. So I do feel like um, there is a commitment on its way for you. No, they want me to go to this deck. Can you please clarify a reunion with somebody before uh, we move forward? Can you please clarify? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, we got the full card in the reverse. Okay. Uh, the full card in reverse is um, the reason you, it's, it's almost like you became cynical. You become cynical. Um, okay. Uh, both of, I mean, both of you. Yeah, we, I mean, <laughs> Spirit give you the exact cards that you need to, to be given. Okay. Uh, they're always bang on point. We've got a three of cups here, which basically means celebration. But I feel like you've got an option. The Three of Cups actually applies to you, my beautiful Capricorn. I do feel like there is going to be a frisson between you and a person, and you get to choose between the person in the past or the person 
in your current world. Uh, so if you're thinking about someone from the past and you're like, no, no, I don't want to go back. I knew, I know who you're talking about, Bubba, <clears throat> Bubba, but I don't want to go back that way. Uh, I feel like the new option is coming on in. There will be a cause for celebration. I mean, the universe is showing you new and Ace of Pentacles is coming in that is new. Aces always bring new energy um, and it's a new beginning. And it is a solid commitment. But we do have that Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups is about reunions. It is about nostalgia. But it reminds you that while someone may, may want to reunite with you, think of all the reasons why it didn't work in the first place. And whether you can overcome that before you entertain, um, you know, giving it another opportunity. Okay. The Six of Cups always reminds you that this person, for example, there are, it's wonderful to have nostalgia, it's wonderful to have memories, and it's wonderful to think about the good old days, but don't live in the past or don't look at the past with rose-tinted glasses. So I feel like you can acknowledge the past in order to heal old wounds, okay? But I do feel like there is someone who does think about you a lot or tries not to think about you because uh, they've got the woulda, shoulda, coulda conversation going on in their head, uh, but I feel like they may want to rekindle the emotions from the past but the two of cups in the reverse there indicates um if you wonder if this person ever thinks about you the answer is yes you may feel like they're disinterested in you but i feel like they're very stubborn okay uh, i feel like they may have disappointed you let you down in some area but i feel like you may be deciding to move forward rather than backwards but again we all have free will it is possible to um, heal a relationship from the past should you want to and should, of course, the person um, come towards you and show you. This card is about um, uncertainty, but it's also about using your intuition to find the answer that you need. So check in with your intuition. Now, we've got a Prince of Pentacles here. This is your hope and fear. So Prince of Pentacles is the equivalent of the Page of Pentacles. So that is something new. I feel like you are being patient to find somebody new and I feel uh, this is about someone who will sort of go the distance. I mean we've got a page and a princess of pentacles. Oh, In this deck it's a prince and a princess of pentacles. Okay so I feel like you are going to meet someone who matches your vibration. We've got you know a significant match here where you can go into a higher level of commitment with this person. Um, so I do feel like you're calling in someone. Um, Oh, that's in the wrong position. But you may be a little bit worried that this person is either a little bit younger than you. Um, also, I feel like the fear here is that you give, you offer love and it's almost like it looks like it's going to work on paper or it looks like it's going to work. It looks like it's heading in the right direction to work. And then all of a sudden the carpet is pulled from underneath your feet. I feel like this is what you maybe experienced in the past and you may be fearful of it going that way again. It's almost like when you start to think, oh yeah, this is going places. I really want to settle down with this person. As soon as you put that sort of thought in your mind, it's like, it's gone. You're like, oh, so I feel like that's a fear here for you, okay? Um, okay, they're giving me a song. Maybe they give this song to you before for your sign. I'm not really sure. Um, the song they're giving me is um, it's Queen's Radio Gaga. Let me see. Um, I'm just going to listen to the song. I can't really remember the lyrics, but they're giving me some lyrics right now. So let me see. So I've paid a price. Walked out that door. Um, all we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo. I mean, that doesn't really help. Maybe you think that love is like crazy, like Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo. That's kind of like... <laughs> um, got to I, I'm gonna have to look up the lyrics because that's all they've just given me and I, I know the song so I'm just gonna have to look it up and see how it resonates with your reading now either that song just played on the radio just before you listen to this reading or it will play after you just listen to this reading or it can also play throughout February maybe you're in the store or something and it signifies a change in your love situation okay it signifies there is change afoot so look out for that song okay um, now the outcome position 
we do have a five of pentacles, which is about feeling isolated or a little bit challenged in some way. We've got the queen of wands and we've got the devil card here. So the five of pentacles is about feeling, sometimes feeling a little bit lonely, feeling a bit left out, a bit isolated. Okay. So I feel like there's a little bit worry here where you feel like, am I going to be alone forever? The answer is no. Okay. Um, just so you're aware. Um, But I do feel like there's a, there's an energy here of either being abandoned by somebody in the past and you're trying to work it out because they're showing me an equation right now. So uh, the, the, the Five of Pentacles can, can talk about um, abandonment and they're showing me an equation like you're trying the you're thinking the why. Why do they do that? I don't understand. Why? I just get this why. OK, so whoever's energy I'm picking up in this reading, there's a question mark, big question mark. Someone trying to work something out. Remember, in life, sometimes we just don't get the why. And we got to be okay with that. Okay, we have to kind of sort of go, well, we're going to give us ourselves the why. Can You can sit there for many hours thinking, why did they do that? Why? You will never know because you are not that person. And you can ask that person a million times, why did you do that? Why did you just abandon the connection? Why did you cheat on me? Why did you do all these things? I'm not saying this person cheated, but why, why, why? We can ask. And they can go, I don't know. Or they can just give you an answer that they feel you may want to hear or you know you will never know so sometimes we can actually gain freedom in saying who cares about the why it happened now what do I do what do I do next and it comes from a point of view you regain control it is about empowerment okay now we've also got the five of wands the five of wands is an interesting one because I feel like you're about to meet someone who is very different to the type that you usually go for. This is about honoring uh, differences as well. So I feel like there's someone coming on in who really challenges you. They come from left field and they offer something really different, something really exciting, someone that you've maybe not encountered before. The five of wands also is about rivalry. So you may have rivalry for your affection. Uh, so um, I'm just going to see if this person from the past is going to reach out in February, because of course we've got Valentine's Day on that day. Sometimes uh, nostalgia sort of kicks in and people reach out from the past. Can you show me if a past person is going to reach out? Eight of Cups in the upright there so uh, I feel like you've walked away from this because it's emotionally fulfilling I also feel like this person is emotionally distant from you at this time there's too much baggage this person is really trying not to think we got the four of wands so separation I'm just going to go one more okay how would you like to receive thank you so much okay they're indicating new OK, what they're indicating is that this person is trying not to think about what they lost in the relationship. OK, we've got the four of wands, which is either argument or separation. Uh, we've got the ten of wands there, which is baggage. So they find it very difficult. The four of pentacles in the reverse, they're letting go. They're trying to let go. OK, this person feels very vulnerable as well. So I feel like they're avoidant of their feelings at this moment in time. So February, I feel... There is less chance of them reaching out. We've got an Ace of Wands, so they're indicating for the second time that there is a new passion coming into your world, okay? So I just had to understand the past in order to give you the future. Um, so there is a new passion, someone who's going to really spark your attention, um, someone who inspires you, actually, someone who's got a lot of fire in their chart. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sag, but I do feel like they've got some sort of earth to ground them as well. So a very sensual, uh, exciting relationship. And as you can see, the cloud represents that tumultuous energy. If you've been going through a difficult time, the universe comes on in and surprises you all of a sudden with someone who sparks your attention. So I feel like it's going to be like, I feel like it's going to really be opposites attract kind of energy. And I feel like it is instant. Okay. And as you can see, we can see in the distance, it goes straight through, through to like, a castle there so I feel like there's a higher level of commitment attached to this new energy that comes on in towards you the five of wands is a very interesting one where did I put it put it there because the five of wands typically means in training the tradition of the card means you're in training so for example you know you uh, and I said this in another reading you may have kissed a lot of frogs or I don't know what female frogs are called. Are they called frogettes? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to have to leave it that, like that. Or look it up. I'm, I'm, now I'm interested. I'm going to look that up when I leave this reading. Um, but I feel like you had to experience um, 
your journey so far so that you know what you do want and then the next card that comes up from the five of wands is the six of wands so um we do have the queen of wands now the queen of wands is about bringing your feisty back it's almost like um by the end of february you're definitely like back in the game your motivation is back your mojo is back this is about confidence Okay, the Queen of Wands, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. The Queen of Wands is the most attractive card in the deck. This card, I mean, the Empress card is also an attractive card, but it comes with maturity as well. Okay, the Queen of Wands is about sexual, you know, allure. Okay, you've got that je ne sais quoi about you in February, and you're going to attract a lot of attention. Okay, so just be mindful though, because we've got the devil card here um, that, I mean, you could be attracting another Capricorn, for example, or there is another Capricorn that you're attracted to and they feel bonded to you and they're coming back towards you. Okay, but I feel this would be towards the end of February because this person's trying not to think about you. They're trying not, they're trying to put distance. But I feel like because we got the King of Swords in the reverse along, I feel like this person's trying not to think about you. Okay. Um, I would be mindful if you are, if you feel like bonded to somebody, because I'm going to pull a card on the devil card, because this can be about blockage. We all get to the devil card at some point on our journey. So taking away the side, uh, the fact that the, the devil card is a Capricorn energy, and it can mean it's just trying to signify a Capricorn energy coming on in towards you with some, uh, some Leo in their chart, because I said it was earth and fire that's coming towards you. Um, the devil card can represent a blockage. It can mean, you know, fear. It can mean that you feel attached to another situation. It can mean that um, you feel um, guarded against love. So let me just see, because we've got that wonderful queen of wands there as well, which means you are attracting not just one, but a couple of people, at, you know, you're, you're attracting some attention here um, and you will meet the person you're meant to be with. The wheel of fortune. Try to believe in fate because it is going to actually influence your situation. There is a turnabout in your love relationships. The Wheel of Fortune at grassroots means your luck is changing, okay? It means sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. In February, you're on the up. So uh, this is like someone out of the blue coming towards you. Page of Swords. So pages are, ooh, someone that you're going to be very curious about. Pages bring news. Swords are about communication. So I feel like you're going to be talking to somebody new. And I feel like there is someone that you're going to be very curious about. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides. The Empress in the Reverse. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much. Truly grateful. The Empress in Reverse indicates don't let low self-esteem or um, low confidence or indecisiveness get in your way. Don't allow it to block you. Have the confidence that you truly yeah, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, but it's in the reverse. This card literally means have faith, have hope. Things are going to turn out in your favor. Don't be so guarded. Don't be so closed off to love, okay? Um, easier said than done, I know, but they are indicating that there is a love option coming on in here for you. Be open to receive. I'm going to go one more before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. How would like to receive? Thank you so much. We got the Devil card, okay? So again, this is Capricorn Energy. And again, they're showing um, either a bonding or a resistance in some way to freeing yourself up to allow love in. So just be mindful of that. The devil card is literally an awareness of what is preventing us from moving forward. And some of us, we've been damaged by past relationships to the point where we're like, you know what, I'm never going to get in a relationship again. Or it can mean that you're like, I hope this person doesn't cheat on me. Or I hope it doesn't go the same way as, you know... You're actually starting anew with that full card. So you are anew. You've gone through a lot. You're a different person. And I feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of attention. Most importantly, that page of wands is coming towards you. So there's a new passion. You're going to be communicating with somebody new. They keep indicating that someone is a little bit younger than you. Don't let that obsession get in the way. If you're someone who's like, I can't date someone who's younger than me. Um... You may be closing yourself off to opportunity. I mean, if you're not attracted to the person, of course, don't follow that route. But I mean, um, we've got, I am forgiving. 
it's number eight. Now, number eight is the number of the self, okay? So I feel like this is about maybe even forgiving the amount of time that you gave to a connection that you may have felt was wasted time. Nothing is ever wasted time. We make our decisions. We want what we want in that moment, and we have to be cool with the fact that we made those decisions. So allow yourself some compassion. Also, every time we make a decision, we're meant to make a certain decision um, and experience what comes out of it, a lesson. Um, also, um, we will continue to get a lesson again and again and again until we learn the lesson and then we are free to move into a new cycle, which I feel like you are doing. Also, we've got I am a creator. So either there's some sort of creative project that I mentioned there or you're going to um, do some sort of hobby, something that you're really excited about, something that really sets your soul on fire, um, that makes you feel passionate. Whatever it is, you're opening yourself up to a new cycle to meet someone new. I mean, it's number 28, so it's another 10 there. Now, number 10 may be really relevant to your reading. Uh, it may be really relevant to you. Either you live at number 10, or um, because number 10 and number 11 keep coming up in your energy uh, a lot. So either number 10 is the date of your birth, uh, or uh, number 10 is... Um, the house number you live at or where you work, um, but it means the beginning of a new cycle. Something is ending and you're stepping into something new. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I'm going to get a heart instead of a trinket. I'm being called to this one actually. Uh, so this is just for February. Let's see what you got here. Well, that really connects to your reading actually, because you got that Prince of Wands, which is about coming out of a comfort zone. It says an unexpected adventure is in your immediate future. An unexpected, I hope you can see that, your, an unexpected adventure is in your immediate future. You don't see this new person coming, but they are very adventurous. They're very exciting to be with, okay? Uh, it'd be a bit of a whirlwind, but I do feel like you will kind of try and put the brakes on a little bit, uh, and it will be slow and sensual. It will be something that you can trust. Okay, um, but I'm very excited for you. I hope something resonates in this reading in some way for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Oh, they just give me a song. One moment. I'll come back to that in a moment. If you'd like to be with a chance, no, they said that they want me to give it to you now. Uh, the song is Ding Dong, the bells are gonna chime. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. I'm a bit, at a bit of a loss, I don't know what that is. Um, it's very upbeat, whatever it is, but that's all they're giving of that. Bells are gonna chime. So either you are gonna meet somebody and the bells will be chiming, maybe you meet them under a clock tower or something, or um, bells are gonna chime. I mean, it can be, I mean, it could be a signifier that this is the one, that maybe you'll settle down, marry this one in particular. Um, so please take it as it resonates or maybe you're listening to this reading and outside you can hear bells chiming from some sort of religious uh, place of worship or something like that so please take it as it resonates I'm not really sure they interrupted me with the uh, with the song and then when I thought I'd come back to it uh, they said no do it now so it was important of now so maybe it was when you were listening to this reading you could hear it so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, yeah, anyway, if you'd like to have the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is write this sentence in the comments box below. I am loved. Okay, just put I am loved. My guides wanted you to be aware of that sentence and be aware that you are, not just by people around you on the physical plane, but also by those in spirit. They walk in a long line behind you, supporting your decisions and helping you on your journey, okay? I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of February. Just to let you know, I never know who's gonna win until the date, because my guides do not give me a name until that very date, and I have to wait for it. It can come at any time. I could literally be driving down the freeway, and all of a sudden, my guides give me the name. So I will upload a video on that date and let you know who is the winner of the reading, okay? I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my... Okay, hang on a minute, they're not done yet. They just gave a name, well, it, they just said Cartier. Now, Cartier is obviously a huge brand that everybody knows, and I'm not here to sell anything or shout about any brands or anything like that, but Cartier, Cartier, I mean, either Cartier, I mean, we all know that there's jewelry or something that comes from that place. Um, Cartier can mean like the best of the best, I guess. I'm not really sure what the word Cartier means. I think it's just a brand. Um, maybe they, this person, 
is rich. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like that. I, I, they just said Cartier. I mean, it could be a surname. It could be your name. It could be a nickname. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not sure how it does. I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.